Katin ang mata ko. May stabilization ba ito? Ah, handheld is the style. Okay. What's up, Paper Cup? Ako si Nate. And here are three things that I think... Opinion ko lang ito. Hindi. Wait lang. Saba. <laughs> Don't get offended. <laughs> Don't get offended. But here are three things that I feel like everybody should do after they graduate college. First off, congratulations to our graduates, Jan. If you just graduated, I know a lot of people sent me tweets and photos of themselves. Congratulations. Second off, sorry, uh, I haven't been posting much because I have two huge projects on the way. You guys might have heard that yesterday I hiked a mountain with Pauline and my friends. That's for a video. I was shooting a video and I also have a podcast on the way, but more on that next time. Anyway, I have three R's for you. The first one is to rest. So. In my opinion, di ba, pagkatapos ng thesis after every, you know, all the sleepless nights and stuff, ang sarap talaga matulog. And I would really recommend that for your mental health and for your body, it's best to take some rest, take a week off. Ako, I'm the type of person na one week off and then right after that, ayun, I'm craving to do something again. There are people out there that for them it's two weeks, for others it's one month, three months, whatever the case. Do what feels best for you, play some video games, magdota muna kayo or something, and then get back to the grind. Secondly, read connect I'm sure during your thesis there's a lot of gimmicks that you might have had to say no to uh, Miko right here just finished his thesis yeah I said I feeling ko like our friendship hindi naman na damage yung friendship natin because of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kaya magkasama kami ngayon kaya he was part of the hike yesterday because he's reconnecting with the people that he had to take some time off from no that sounds so sad it's true though <laughs> De, para makapag focus siya sa thesis diba? go grab a coffee with someone mag billiards muna kayo I don't know just reconnect with people because relationships are what makes the world go around yan thirdly I would recommend resume so those are the three things about rest reconnect resume pag G ka na pag ready ka na mag hustle ulit google how to write a CV how to write a resume the difference between those two things I'll link something for you guys down below it might be helpful you wanna add that like go to a computer shop does it mean computer shops don't offer resume writing what do you mean? cause there was this guy that went to <laughs> Into a computer shop. Go go up with your resume. Okay, well, if there is a is that a popular notion? I don't really know, but oh, but the computer shops don't ano don't make resumes, so you gotta. And I recommend that naman you make it yourself so that you learn and you get experience. Oh, and by the way, I think the most valuable thing that you can do after graduating. Hindi na to R. Hindi na. This is uh uh. Hindi na to nagsisimula sa R. Gets gather experience. Or to re experience life. Seriously, ako after I graduated, one of the things that I made sure to do was to travel. Because for me, traveling gives me the most experience, the way that I can learn about life more. Kung sayo, that's going out and meeting new people. What, what's another way to get experience? Go to church. <laughs> <laughs> to intern somewhere, to do a job shadowing, whatever. Freelance. I don't know. Freelance. Yeah, that's yeah. one way to start a business. Ako, when I graduated, I made sure to have a trip to Singapore. And then when my budget was running out, mas bate naman para within the Philippines. My budget was running out even more, so I took a couple bus trips also. Whatever the case, I think you gotta. You're <laughs> Okay lang. Whatever the case, bata ka pa, well actually ako rin, bata pa tayo and experience really is the best way to learn more about life. So don't be afraid to go out there, make a passion project, pursue that and then if you fail, fail forward, learn from it. Someone wise once said that in life you either succeed or you learn. So there's really, failure is really just a chance to learn more. Um, what's fail in Tagalog? Bagsak. Wag kayong matakot. Bumagsak. <laughs> wag, wag matakot. Uh, magkamali. Magkam. Wag mat. Yeah, there you go. Miko Serrano. Wag matakot magkamali. Two L's make a win. Two L's make a W. There you go. That's it. Congratulations if you just graduated. Grab that experience, whatever's in front of you. Do not forget to seize it. And um, I will be releasing my new video and project and stuff soon. So just stay tuned for that. Kung di pa kayo nakasubscribe, mag-subscribe na kayo. Bye!